Book of Kells is housed behind me in the long room of the Berkeley Library of Trinity College. And you can look at it, but you can't touch. Nobody gets near it. It's housed under tight security because it's over 1,200 years old and the pages are so delicate that light levels affect it, heat levels affect it, and they wouldn't let even a Joe Maxi crew within a mile of it. But we can show you an exact copy. approached about 10 years ago by a firm called Facsimile Verlag in uh, Lucerne. They came along and uh, said that they would like to make a facsimile of the Book of Kells. And we were very reluctant to, to go into it at that stage. Um, and we, in effect, sent them away and said, uh, come back when you've worked out how the manuscript can be photographed without anybody actually touching the pages. And so they went off to do that and they came back with this wonderful machine which holds the, the manuscript for, the, for photography. Um, and holds the pages at an angle so that they can be photographed um, using a sort of very gentle suction arrangement. So that has taken 10 years then to perfect? Well, that took them about a year to perfect. Um, and then we had about another year while we were involved in the uh, negotiations on the contract. And, uh, and then the photography itself went very quickly. That was done within about a month. And it's then taken them nearly two years to get the proofs right. They, they had to keep bringing the proofs back to Dublin to check them because the manuscript never left the, the library. And um, so they printed the proofs in Switzerland and then flew them back to check them against the original. And then they made corrections and flew them back again. They, they, they calculate they made 150 flights between Zurich and Dublin to check the proofs. So how much will the facsimile cost? They'll retail, at the present at moment, the price is $14,800, which is about £10,000. So what are the pages of the original Book of Kells made of? It, it's written on calfskin and uh, during the work on this facsimile we've been looking at the, the pages and looking at to see whether the, the spine of the calf actually went down the spine of the book or across the book or whatever and um, we've calculated that I think it's 180 something calves had to give up their skins to produce the Book of Kells. That's a lot of pair of shoes. That's a lot of pair of shoes, yes. <laughs> now Peter, tell us about the Boyne Valley Art Competition. Well, this is a competition, um, an art competition, where uh, the uh, um, entrants have to um, produce a work of art, a painting, a tapestry, or a drawing, or whatever, um, related to the Book of Kells. We prefer people not just simply to copy a page, uh, it, it, but it, if it can be some sort of artistic representation, either of monks, or the, the, the world at the time, or a detail from the book, um, an example of, of, of the type of art that's in the book. And there are three categories. Uh, there's a, um, an adult category and two categories for schools, primary schools and secondary schools. And in each category, we're giving away 10 framed pages each month uh, between now and February. Very good prizes. Very good prizes. And then at the end, the winners in those categories will then be put together and we will pick out the supreme winner from each category. And the school which wins that will get a copy of the facsimile. That's a superb prize. 